What's going on everybody? It's the Milkman here. Before we get into this video, I just want to say thank you guys so much. Seriously, for, uh, oh, that's really loud, he's a brake screen. But uh, for getting up to a thousand subscribers, you guys, I have thousands of views on my videos and it's thanks to you guys. Like, and the thing is, is getting these views is important to me because it's, I'm doing what I want to do. Like I want to help other people that want to get in the industry and that want to haul livestock or just wa like watching the videos of hauling livestock, you know? I'm doing this for you guys, you know? So I really appreciate that. It shows that what I'm doing is actually uh, working and you guys are liking it. So just want to say thank you so much and please share with your friends. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Morning everybody, it's the Milkman here, back with another video for y'all. I'm sitting here right now in Alberon, Iowa, and I'm gonna head up to Dysar, Dysar, Iowa, about 20 minutes north of here, and we're gonna grab a load of cattle. I'm not sure where they're going yet, but uh, I got here about two o'clock last night. I hauled a load of cattle from Kentucky over to, Mich or up to Michigan there, and then I got a, this load here. So I drove here uh, last night into this morning, and now I'm gonna weigh in here. I'm sitting at the co-op, and I'm weighing. I'm gonna head over there, get loaded up. I'm not sure where they're going yet, but we're gonna find out. So we'll see you guys when I get there to get loaded. All right, so it looks like there's actually another couple trucks here. You got one sitting right there, and then there's one pulling on the scale ahead of me here. Not sure if they're going to the same place or not. I'll ask this guy. There's one in the red truck here. Uh, is still sitting here. It doesn't look like he's awake yet. But uh, we'll get her checked out. He's waiting in here at the same co-op as I am. Might be going up to the same farm. So I'll see if he is. If not, I don't know. I mean, there's people going everywhere around here. So uh, I'm going to get weighed in. And we'll see you guys when I get there to get loaded. All right, so I don't know what you guys can see here, but we did make it to the farm. And uh, this driveway is kind of narrow here. You gotta take it real wide. And let's see. I like having this lift axle on here because I can take corners so much better. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see in the mirror now, but my spread axe usually is definitely dragging in the ditches and stuff when I'm going around the corners and this thing just I can whip it right around so we are gonna pull in here we got this one guy ahead of us he's gonna get loaded out first and then he said it sounds like we're going to o uh, towards Omaha I didn't quite hear what part of Omaha to get loaded, uh, to empty out there, so. We're gonna wait for him to get backed in. As you can see, he's back in there, there's the owner. I do always as you can see I got the farm up here I just bring it up on the maps on Google uh, Maps and then I do a satellite view and then uh, they just said pull in the east driveway so I just markered where the east driveway was and then it brought me right there just always make sure you pay attention to the route it's bringing you because it will bring you on some weird routes sometimes always stay on main roads and uh, usually the farmer or someone will whoever's dispatching you whatever should tell you uh, how to get there and what roads to take to get there because some of these places you got to be real specific about it otherwise you'll come in the wrong way and you'll have a heck of a time trying to get in there or you'll just have to actually go out and turn around and come back in the opposite way or the whatever different way uh, to even make it in the driveway so 
right, we're gonna get this guy loaded up here. We'll get loaded up, and then he's gonna wait back at the scale for me, and we're gonna run her together. So we will see you guys when I'm getting loaded up here. Well, as you can see here, we are pulled up. We're gonna get backed up to the chute here. It's kind of disappointing when it's raining out. The uh, You can't see out of your mirrors hardly. I usually just try to follow the tracks in before me if there were some. But you just line the driver's edge of the trailer up with the edge of the chute. And that usually works out perfect. So I've got the other driver back there that's going to load after me. Ben opening tells me here how far I got left. Gotta move over a little bit. Oh, I see the tracks there now. All right, we got her. I'm gonna get my uh, clothes on here and then we're gonna get this thing loaded up. Okay, perfect. Huh? Uh, I guess I've always gated the top. Should I not gate the top? Okay. Okay, one second. Okay, perfect. Come on, back up.
Yeah. You just hide on the side over here when they. Yeah, okay. Palm, yeah, I'll just hop back up here. Yeah, I'd rather be safe than dead. <laughs> no, neither. Oh, you ever been kicked in the face? No. Thank goodness. I used to work at a. Uh, I don't know if you ever heard of Farm and Fleet. Yeah. There was a lady that would come in there, got kicked in the face by her horse, and it punched her eye right out. Yeah. Yeah, she's like, she's alive. Yep. It's scary. Yeah. How long you been doing this then? Wow. Ready? You got your own truck and trailer then or yeah. you dispatch yourself or do you got somebody doing that no, I you do <laughs> yeah helps when you've been doing it for 40 years too i suppose yeah kind of know what the deal is well, I don't know about that. <laughs> do you ever really i guess <laughs> yeah. it's like it's always changing how'd you get started in doing this then Oh, really? What did he say we're throwing on the bottom? 16. 16. Usually just go out for a week and then come back or? Yeah, I think every Tuesday I'm going to get back Thursday or Friday. Oh, you do? Yeah. That's pretty. Right. Yeah. You got a kind of a dedicated run or? Yeah, I go to Detroit every Oh, you do? Yeah. No kidding. What's it like hauling sheep? Really. Is it?
I'm gonna go set the trailer up. Okay, perfect. I'm grab these seven on the back. Thanks for helping me out. I appreciate yeah, it. No problem. And yeah, that Greater Omaha is just instead of making a right to JDS, you go left. Left. You'll see it. It's right there. Okay, so, perfect. Yeah, the first thing on the left, like a block, about a block. Okay, perfect. Yep. So, I appreciate it. Thank you. Yep. Have a safe trip. Yeah, Thank you. Hopefully you guys can still see all right. I know it's kind of misting out a little bit, but we got everything loaded up. We're just going to put seven on the tail. So you can see how much they're moving the trailer around just sitting here. When they do that going down the road, you can feel your whole truck just swaying back and forth, but they usually calm down on the way sometimes if you have bulls though they they'll uh they don't really ever calm down because they just sit there and fight the whole time so anytime you get to the tail you always just uh undo your rope and then uh leave enough room for them to get in and then when they all get in then you just uh pull your door down throw my ladder up before i forget that because knowing me i will Sometimes they like to sit and sniff everything before they end up coming out. So we'll count them as they go. They got one, two. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good rest of your weekend or week here. Yeah. As you can tell, it is a mud mess out here. But we are loaded up, and we're going to Greater Omaha. I guess it's not too far from JBS, where I always unload all cattle in there. your back when you're pulling out so you don't run your trailer into the ditch and get stuck or end up tipping it over. And then we'll just take our time out of here. He's gonna back in, he's gonna get loaded up. We are all going to the same place. So one guy said he was gonna wait for me over there so uh, I can follow him down or uh, actually it's just west. West and up a little bit, I think, but you always want to take your time uh, taking off, especially right away. Especially right away because the cattle aren't used to how the trailer moves around and stuff. So you take your time, let them get comfortable. You don't want cows falling over and getting hurt. So it is foggy out here this morning. I'll tell you one thing that I really liked about that experience was that the guy that loaded right behind me 
has been doing this for 40 years. So it was really cool to be able to talk to him, you know, and uh, learn a couple things. And uh, he hauls sheep and stuff. Uh, he does a, he, he's got his own truck and trailer and uh, dispatches himself and everything. He does a run of sheep, it sounds like, over to Detroit, Michigan. And that's kind of his dedicated run out. And then he's usually home by Thursday or Friday and home for the weekend. So that's a pretty nice run he's got going for himself there. I got my own truck, but I uh, rent the trailer and am dispatched by the owner of the trailer. So that's kind of my situation. I don't know if I'll ever get my own trailer and dispatch myself. We'll see. But for now, we are just going to keep doing what we're doing. And I'm going to go get this scaled in, get my weights, see if that guy is still there. And then we are going to follow him over there. So we'll see you guys when I'm scaling in. All right, guys, we just got our weights weighed in there. And uh, we are on our way to Greater Nebraska, or Greater Omaha, it's called. And I'm gonna be following him all the way there. So, should be a nice, fun run. I always like running with people more than I like running by myself. Especially people that know where they're going because I don't have to sit and think about it, you know, and wonder what I'm gonna be coming up on. Raining out pretty good. Raining out. Well, it was raining out harder. Keep a window down. Oh, it gets real steamy in here. I can tell this guy's definitely got more power than I do. I don't have a whole. <laughs> I guess I don't know if I really even have that much. big curd bumper because when you're running out in the country out here the amount of deer and stuff you see is insane as you can tell my hood or my bumper is bent up because of hitting deer I haven't hit one yet but uh, my brother owned this truck before I did and he hit seemed like always hitting deer for some reason 